Trish Travels coming to you from Progresso. So Progresso is about a 30 minute drive from Merida. Uh, we got here by the auto bus, which you could catch in Central. And for a round trip for me and Kiara, it cost us 84 pesos. And then, so that's to and from, and they come about every 10 to 15 minutes in Merida. So now we're gonna see what we could do today in Progresso. So our first stop is breakfast and we stumbled on upon a little stand and we're gonna check out what type of food they have. So we ended up getting ourselves a two tamales not knowing how big they are. They're absolutely humongous and we actually forgot to get some forks. So we're gonna have to eat old fashioned with our hands. Hmm. They're interesting, they're country. Actually never had a tamale that was crunchy. Usually it's a nice soft kind of um, creamy texture to it. But this is like charred so much. Like you can see the char on it. And um, it gives it a really nice crunch to it. It's really different. It's good. I like that the meat's chicken for once. How do you feel about the crunchiness of this type? Actually, I, I like that it's crunchy. You like it better? I don't know if I would say I like it better, but I do enjoy that it's crunchy. people come to Progresso is for the beach and we came for the same reason right now it's like 9 in the morning and nobody's here we basically have the beach to ourselves and even though this is such a popular port destination cruises used to come here before COVID um, happened they might be going back into lockdown soon um, for two weeks starting tomorrow so we decided to come here safely and check it out and see what's going on So that was the beach. Uh, next on the agenda is a place called El Corchito. I've been wanting to go to this place for a while now. It's this cool nature preserve and has animals. You get a nice little boat ride and it's just awesome. So we booked a tour at Sergio's tour. Uh, he's gonna take us to four different spots. El Corchito, a salt flat to try to see some flamingos. Hopefully we're able to see some and then a Mayan rune at the end. And the total for that was 35 pesos. Which is, I'll put the USD amount in the bottom. Well, once we start the tour, we'll update you. So we're on the boat right in El Corchito. Um, so far it's really nice. We had the boat to ourselves and the tour agent. So far this place is pretty awesome. If you look at everything around me, uh, everything is handmade here, including basically the place itself. Uh, they dug these places, they like pushed the mud out this way to make this like mangrove area for animals and all sorts of things it's super cool uh, there's a bunch of raccoons here and it's just so awesome 
and over here they actually made this place was for a specific plant where they actually used to make the wine corks so and they became endangered so they created this island mangrove area to preserve it so now corks are artificially made thank goodness but it is just so awesome here i love the little raccoons they're so cute Also, these lake things where the water comes from underground, so they're very similar to cenotes where you can swim. There's four of them in this location. They're all crystal clear water. And they have little fishes swimming around all in them. We're gonna wrap up our time here and we're gonna get up to our next stop. Now we're looking for the flamingos. He took us through this drive and we could see flamingos, but they're super, super far away. They so. just look like little pinpoints from now, so we yeah. can't really show you, but we can see how bright pink they are all yeah. the way in the distance. All we see is a whole bunch of pink tiny dots. It's So we're in stop number two on the search for flamingos. So far, we can only see oh, them wow. flying. Yeah, usually the tour guide said they would be like standing around, but right now they're moving away, but this area is just super beautiful and there's lots of other birds, it's really peaceful. So we made it over to the salt spot where it has a pink salt lake there where the ancient Mayans used to actually make the salt here and but recently it's been flooding from hurricanes from a few months back and so now the water is not as pink anymore but now it's starting to get its color again. over to our final stop which is the Mayan temple what's it called? Ex 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 what he said <laughs> so we finally made it to the final site of the tour and it's Shkambo which translates to holy crocodile so this ancient Mayan site is actually older than the famous Chichen Itza and so far I'm just starting it and it looks amazing so far. Um, the entrance fee is only 75 pesos per person. of the tallest structure here it's the government center that used to be here and yes you can actually climb it for now um, not very many ancient sites you can climb but you can climb this one so that was the whole tour um, we had Uvo he was awesome uh, Without him, we wouldn't have been able to like see all of this, especially since we don't have a car. Um, he taught us so much about the culture of the place, the history. Um, he was extremely helpful and knowledgeable. Um, so make sure you do book with Sergio Tours. Um, I definitely recommend it. They were awesome. Um, also, I just wanted to add that um, without them, I wouldn't have been able to like fly my drone like he was able to get me the special permissions and everything like that so definitely definitely make sure you check them out um right now we're actually pretty hungry so we're gonna eat for some food or lunch it's about dinner time actually so I still haven't gotten to eat yet um, I'm being a bit picky but right now the Sun is setting so beach sunsets are always unbeatable Here I got a mechelada and basically it's like a beer mixed beverage with like 
tomato and I got a mango flavor so I guess there's mango and ch uh, chamoy mixed in here it goes kind of scared oh god it's spicy pretty much tastes like every candy you get in Mexico spicy spicy and limey so I ended up just stopping at a small taqueria called El Porchito for some cheap good tacos and we got our El Pastor's uh, barbacoa and um, El Consume with the meat inside of it. Well guys that was my experience in Progresso. Um, I'd say I had a really good time. There's so much to do in Progresso right now. There's, the, there's markets full of good food, lots of seafood, and lots of outdoor markets as well selling souvenirs, clothing, and all sorts of things. Um, I advise you definitely visit. And that's all I really have to say. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed to the page, please do leave a like, comment. Once again, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, stay up the beaten path.